Hey guys, John here. Welcome to 5-Minute Presets. Today we're in Toxic Biohazard, and man, I really wish we could scale this synth here. It's so tiny, so if you're watching this on mobile, I am really sorry. So let's get into it here. So we're going to go to Init Preset here to Reset Program, and then let's start the countdown right over here. So we're starting off with the sine wave. So let's do something kind of trancey, right? Something... Uh, let's see. I would pick probably a saw wave, something kind of like this. A saw wave here. And then maybe for the bottom, I like the rounded square. I think it's this guy over here, yeah. So let's bring this other saw, or this square, into the mix here. And let's drop this down one octave, something kind of like that. Negative 12 on the pitch here. And let's add some unison voices. Why don't, why don't we go to 8? Might as well. Increase the unison pan here. And turn this bad boy down a little bit. Give some release here. Okay, I think we're in a decent spot over here. So now what's something we want to do is add some chorus to this. So it's select chorus, which is nice. It's already there by default. Okay, we're pretty good there. Now let's add some delay here. Let's turn our delay on. And for this, let's go 2 over 16. And for this, I like taking down the blur and the depth. And the rate. Okay, that's a pretty decent spot to work with here. So now let's dial in our filter here. So right now we're on off. Let's go to LP for low pass. Let's increase our cutoff here. Add some key tracking. And give us some envelope amount here. And let's maybe bring our sustain down just a little bit and let's play with our decay here. Okay, now this is going to be the one of the cool parts for this type of patch here. So check this out. So right over here on LFO 1, let's select sign here. And let's go to, I think it's no, no, it's not noise. It's gate 2, I think it was. This one's pretty cool. So what we're going to do here is we're, we're going to sync this to, let's try 1 over 4 for now. Take it off free because we want this to restart every time. So we have a gate 2 on our, L, on our first LFO. So what we want to do here is down over here in the center where it says LFO, let's bring the first one maybe about like 28 or something like that, kind of a low value, both of these, and let's see what, that's, what that does. Okay, that's the effect we want, but it's a little bit too fast, so maybe let's go four over four. Okay, maybe two over four. And let's do the same thing for LFO 1 amount on this knob here. Now what's really cool about something like this is if we have our drum set in the in the back here, so let's increase our tempo to maybe like 140. Maybe a little bit more chorus here. Okay, so maybe let's get a little bit more detune. And increase our poly maybe to 16, just in case we want to have some extra notes here. Okay, so something I do want to point out here. So right now we're at a low value of 28 on both of these oscillators here. We can go to a full power like 100, which is pretty crazy. And then it's going to be almost like a full gate. Which is also a very cool effect, so that's kind of just the balance here of what you want to go with. Really kind of just find what works best for your track. And if we have some drums here in the background. And then maybe what we can do is for our drums over here, if we have enough time here, let's go to the snare and remove our snare so we just have kick and hat here. And then 
last but not least, we have our chorus and our delay done. So I would always like to add some external reverb because we kind of ran out here. So let's add a little bit of reverb and see what that sounds like. Oh, there we go. The time is up here. So we added our reverb here and let's see what it sounds like. So yeah, that's kind of the main concept of doing some kind of like trance super tie kind of thing. So something also I do want to keep you in mind is down over here, we have our EQ. We can always turn this on here and really it depends on kind of the sound you're going for or what's in the mix as well, because generally sounds like this are going to take up a huge amount of the, uh, of the spectrum. So it's kind of really in context of what you want to add and what you want to remove as far as EQ wise. However, with that being said, what I'd probably do on something on a patch like this is take out maybe a little bit of this 125, maybe a little bit of this 250 here. I know it's really hard to see, so I'm kind of calling it out here. And then maybe increase a little bit of 2K and then a little bit of 4K, just so we can kind of get that airiness in it. <laughs> And this type of patch is really nice because it's really, really going to cut through whatever you put it on. So once again, let's play this out a little bit. Get your glow sticks out. So I'll leave you to have more fun with that patch. That one's a lot of fun to play. So I guess we're just going to call this get your glow sticks out, I guess, or maybe glow sticks. I don't know, something kind of like that. So if you want to get some glow sticks and bring them out and have a nice little fun party, then it, there's a link in the video description below. Thanks for watching. Bye.